So tell me about that t-shirt you've got on there, Mike. Okay, this week's is not available at tetontshirts.com. It's the Idaho Falls <laughs> logo, thank you. Uh, with the, you know, the new one with the waves. Yeah, it's nice. And I got it at what used to be uh-huh. the Idaho Falls Visitors Center mm-hmm. there on River Parkway. It's right. It's basically in between Snow Eagle Brewery and Jalisco's. Does it still have Chinese uh, lettering on it? Uh, it did. It did. For some yeah. reason. I don't know why. Well, it's because we have a lot of Asian tourists. Okay. Yeah. All right. Saying this is where you go to get your yeah, collectible basically. stuff. <laughs> so the grand opening was last Friday, April 12th. And we were there. We visited. We took some photos and video. Check mm-hmm. it out. There's your t-shirts. Obligatory Darth Tater shirt. Always a good one. Old vintage postcard of Idaho Falls blown up big size like you can see the temple. Oh, that's cool. And the um, hospital, the old hospital that's mm-hmm. not there anymore. All the Huckleberry stuff. Yes. All of the Huckleberry flavored stuff. If you wonder where to get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I love Huckleberry Kevin, flavored stuff. Let me know if you want some of that. Yeah. Yeah. You want some Huckleberry honey or something? And look at these plushies. These are super cute. You know, I'm actually really glad that they revamped things so much. It looks so much better now. And I will say there was a time when I went in there to get you a gift. I think it was for like Valentine's Day or something. And all I wanted was a Water Tower t-shirt, which I felt should have been there. Like there's no reason I could think of that that wouldn't be, you know, available in their shop. And it wasn't. And did you see uh, earlier on in the video we played, there Uh was, they do have one Water Tower shirt. Now, I don't. I'm a little biased, but I don't think it's as good as the water tower shirt that I'll be wearing next episode Uh that is currently on tetontshirts.com. Right. It's great. It's a pretty great t-shirt. Yeah. Have you seen the water tower lately? It's looking pretty pathetic. They haven't repainted it. I have noticed that. And so it's just looking old and dilapidated. You know, though, I don't mind that. I think it kind of gives it a little bit of like charm. It makes it feel more like a, you know, like a. Uh, I think it looks fixture. dumpy. You think it looks dumpy? I think it reflects poorly on our town. Oh, I, I could see that. And I can't wait for the new one. <gasps> did you just? Mm. Yes, I did. Can't wait for the new one. It's going to be awesome. Okay, here's the thing. Fine. I get that we have to have a new one. But can we at least paint it the same? Yeah, I don't know. Would would that be I don't like? Know if, would we be would we be trying too hard to recapture the magic to the point where it wouldn't work? Yeah, with a different shape, I think it might look more pepperminty, which I'm not opposed to, by the way. Yeah, you do like a nice peppermint. But I think it's just going to be silver with this logo Aww. on it. You know, that's so boring. Yeah, yeah, change is good. Uh, I, I love change. Cha- okay, change is good, but. <laughs> I hate that everything's so uniform and plain now. Like, okay, we were driving through a neighborhood the other day and every house was beige. You know, like, can we get a yellow or a blue house in there somewhere? I think they're nice. Ticky tacky houses and they all look the same? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I just want something a little different. I like character. So this Saturday, a very exciting day. It is 420, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is it? (laughs) The big 420. 420. Do you know why I'm excited for this day? Well, I I can think of the reason why most people would be, but I hope that that's not why you're saying it, because I don't want you getting in trouble for admitting that. Well, Carly, it kicks, (laughs) I don't know what you were thinking, but it kicks off National Park Week. Oh, (laughs) you know what? Okay, but that actually is like ridiculously fitting. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of nice, you know? It's a very nature-oriented day. Mm -hmm. One could say that people on either side of that aisle both dig plants. <laughs> and and Yellowstone's going to be free that day. Oh, that's this, cool. This Saturday. Man, just... All, in fact, all national parks are. That's um, really cool. And also, folks, please don't drive high. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I wouldn't even say... Yeah, certainly don't um, 420 it up. Don't 420 blaze it and go try to pet a bison. Yeah, that just would be stupid. A friendly reminder. Yeah. Can you imagine? It's not a zoo. That would be so terrifying. It's Okay, here's the thing. You're not supposed to pet any of the animals at the zoo unless it's a petting zoo, okay? Right. like It's not a petting zoo. If anything, y'all should be treating it like it's a zoo. You're not going to hop in with like Harambe and try to give him a cuddle. <laughs> okay, that would be stupid. <laughs> I can tell you what I'm doing right now for Harambe. No, not really. <laughs> But Dang. yeah, I mean, if you, <laughs> if you if you ever see uh, a Tatanka up close and personal in real life, 
you realize that they they put the tank in Tatanka. They uh-huh. are these buffalo bison are huge. Yeah, they're big old boys. They will kill you. Well, and I get that they look like fluffy cows. They are not fluffy cows. <laughs> you know. No. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. You know you can get bison meat at Winco. At Winco? Yeah, if you're looking for a low-fat alternative beef alternative. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I did see that. It's a little spendy, but yeah. it's it's tasty. You, you want to a- do a bison meat brunch this weekend? Yeah, or a bison meatloaf. Ooh, I do, ma- I do make decent. a pretty mean meatloaf. You do. I love meatloaf. Oh, man, that last <laughs> one you made. <laughs> it was pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah. So National Park Week kicks off Saturday, Lincoln Post, to get into the parks for free. Lincoln Park? Yeah. You can go to Lincoln Park, too. (laughs) That's funny. But in the end, it won't really matter. (laughs) So Yellowstone National Park, that is why you are IFAF this week. Crisp high five. 21 finger gun salute. Pew, pew. And chef's kiss. To you. Speaking of Yellowstone, you know Jellystone. Of course, yeah. In the Yogi Bear cartoon. Yeah. I saw this list of the longest running cartoons set in each state. Oh, really? Did you know that Idaho has a cartoon set in our state? Is it one I would know? It, it's one you should know. It's one I should know. Okay, what is it? Both being Idahoans, we should know. It's Napoleon Dynamite. Did you know there was an animated series? One season, six episodes, came out in 2012. What? Voiced by the people who were in the movie. What? John Heater and crew. Oh, yeah. shit. I did not know that. And now I'm pissed that we didn't know that before we went to the Napoleon Dynamite thing. I think it's free on Pluto TV. What? That's why we got we got to watch that. Okay, I'm down. And also, it's kind of sad that our longest running cartoon set in our state is one season yeah. and six episodes. I'm just surprised we have one. Like, Utah <laughs> yeah. has nothing. Um, um, suck at Utah. <laughs> Montana has nothing. Oh, wait. So is Yogi Bear in Wyoming? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, for Jellystone. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's all right. Which it's is Because isn't most of Yellowstone in Montana, I want to say, or no? Am I wrong? I'm not super sure, Do honestly. I not know my geography? We should be better than this. <laughs> okay. And by the way, ignore the Simpsons on that graphic. It, it claims to have taken place in Oregon. That's not true at all. No. Matt, creator of the Simpsons, it purposefully made it. Well, no, it's in it's in any state. It's in your your state. Oh. Finger quotes. Because there's a Springfield in almost every state. Okay. I think yeah, one of his quotes fair. was, yeah, like Springfield is in a state that borders like Montana Montana, Texas, and Illinois. Like it's Okay, yeah. It's that that's why I think that's one of the reasons the show mm-hmm. could be considered so popular is the longest running sitcom on television. Right. Is um, or American television anyway, Mm -hmm. is that it could take place anywhere. Right. Yeah. That said, Matt did grow up in the Portland area and based a lot of things on Portland, Eugene, and that area. Okay. Yeah. But it's supposed to be anywhere. Right. Right. Speaking of which, Family Guy, is it season 13, episode one? is a crossover with The Simpsons, and it's possibly the greatest episode of television ever made. You know, I don't know if I've seen that one yet. <laughs> it's great. That's fun. Okay, I'm. you know what? We can watch it tonight. Okay. 